In this Fast Hints video, I'm going to show you how to buy a domain name, how to get professional email at that domain name so you can have your name at whichever domain name you choose.com. And then I'm also at the end of this video going to show you how to connect that domain name to Elementor Cloud. And if you're not familiar with Elementor Cloud, I'll leave a link to it down below. I think that Elementor Cloud is the best way to build a WordPress website with a page builder. So if you're interested in checking out Elementor Cloud, you can check out the link down below. So let's get started with our domain name. So to buy our domain name, I like to use hover.com. I think that it's just no fuss. They don't try to upsell you on a bunch of garbage that you don't need. Uh, it's just really simple, great way to get a domain name and get email. So I'll link to hover down below. And using the links down below is kind of like putting money in my tip jar. So if you appreciate these fast hint videos, I definitely appreciate you using the links down below. And if you are finding this video useful, hit that like button and also leave a comment down below. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get started. So first use the link down below to go to hover.com and then we wanna pick a domain name. So generally it'll be the name of your business or as close as you can get to. I like to use the .com ending, but there are definitely other endings you can use or what they call them in the industry are top level domains. So .com is a top level domain. Down here they've got an example of .me or .shop. I always try to use .com when possible. So let's go ahead and pick a domain name. I'm gonna try mynicewebsite.com <laughs> and then just search and see if it's available. Okay, so I've got mynicewebsite.com and I'm doing this for the tutorial for you guys. Uh, right now it's on sale. Sometimes it's on sale, sometimes it's not, but right now we've got a sale of $14.99 and I'm just going to go ahead and add that to my cart. And you also see here that the price is going to be $16.99 after renewal. So just something to keep in mind. And then we can go over here to our cart. And if you know you're going to have this business for a while, you might just want to lock in that lower price now by adding more years. I'm just doing this as a tutorial for you guys. So I'm just going to buy one year. Down here, we've got the email options. We've got the email forwarding option. So this will forward your email address that you create. So I could create Tim at mynicewebsite.com, for example, and I could forward that to a Gmail account I have. That's a good way maybe to get started, but I've found that if you're really a professional and you're using email a lot, Gmail kind of knows that trick and Gmail sells their own email service. So if you get too many emails forwarded like that, Gmail will start to slow it down. And one of the businesses that I was helping, we were doing the forwarding and Emails weren't showing up for two or three days, sometimes even longer than that, really wound up affecting the business. So I definitely recommend signing up for a small mailbox here. And so that's what I'm gonna do in this tutorial. So this is for each email address that you need. I'm gonna go for just one. Okay, and then we'll go to secure checkout. Here you'll just enter in your information and your billing information, and then I'll meet you back after you've paid for your domain name. Okay, so now I've purchased my domain and my email inbox. So we can go to manage my domain. Okay, and so here we go. This shows all of our information about our domain. If you're using a different service, Hover already has some shortcuts for connecting your domain to other services. So you can check out that here. You can also forward this domain to say a Facebook profile, LinkedIn profile, or to another website if you wanted to. And then down here at the bottom, we've got the set up your email. So since I've already bought the email address, we can do create an email address. And if you didn't buy the email address originally and you wanna buy it now, you can click on this email button and that'll walk you through how to buy an email address. Let's go ahead and set up our email address. So go to create an address. You give it a mailbox name. So I'm gonna do Tim and that will be Tim at mynicewebsite.com. And then to see what your password is, you can click on this show button right here and then we'll do create mailbox. There we go. So now we've created a mailbox. And then to get to your email address, you just go to your account at the top and then webmail, or you can type in mail.hover.com. To log in, type in the new email address that you created at your domain, enter in your password, and then click log in. There we go, and now you're in your email mailbox. You can compose a message over here and it will be from your new domain name. Then you can also view all of your mail, so all the mail that you receive will show in here. So there we go. Now we've set up a domain name for our company, and we've also set up a professional email box for our company. 
Now, if you're using Elementor Cloud, I'll show you how to connect a website you've built on Elementor Cloud to this domain name you've created in Hover. Okay, so now it's super easy to connect your domain name to Elementor with Hover. It actually couldn't possibly be any easier. Um, so if you have, we've already signed up for our domain name, what I suggest is that you open up another tab with Elementor and you wanna click on websites. And if you have, like me, if you've got other Elementor websites that are just using the Elementor Pro plugin, you wanna click on hosted by Elementor here. And then you might just have one website, so you might not have all of this complication with all of these different websites, but you wanna find the website that you wanna connect. You wanna click manage this website. And then you just wanna copy this domain name here, which is the temporary domain name that was provided by Elementor. And then we wanna go back to hover and we wanna click on your account, control panel. And then you wanna find the domain that you signed up for that you want to connect. So in this case, I'm going to choose this domain here and we want to click edit and then use hover connect. And then we just want to scroll down here until we find Elementor. We want to click select. You want to paste in that domain name that you copied and then you want to click connect. And then we just need to wait. Um, it can take, as it says here, up to 24 hours to connect. So basically there's tons of computer servers all over the world that take the information from our domain name and then connect it to that address for the computer that we entered in. And so that can take up to 24 hours for all that to happen. You can continue building your website if you're currently building a website on Elementor Cloud. And if you have been building a website with Elementor Cloud and you're ready for it to go live, you wanna make sure that you turn off site lock. So you wanna to go to the manage this website and then you wanna scroll down to where it says site lock here and if you want to keep it on site lock you can see the pin code here by pushing the eye icon and if you're ready for your site to go live you can turn off site lock simply by clicking this switch here and make sure you click unlock site and that will make your site visible to any users that come without them needing to add in the pin code so there you go that's how you connect a domain name that you've created with hover.com to elementor cloud hosting I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And let me know what else you guys need help with. I'm here to help you and love to know what other questions you have about building websites. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.